today I am heading to one of the most expensive buffet he restaurant here in Sydney. I'm sure you can actually tell from the thumbnails I've posted. Um, just want to check out if it's worth it or not. It's been a talk. It's been a talk of the town since then. People were talking about it. Some good influencers were talking about it. Good day, my name is Ernest and I love sharing with you my thoughts through lifestyle, awareness, travel and gratitude. In this day and age, we are captivated with a daily routine but never get the opportunity to document their own story. A story that can have an impact. This is something that I have seen in my entire life. The world is changing faster than ever and it's imperative that we change it. I believe that the stories of today will be the history of tomorrow and by documenting I can help shape those stories for a better future. Good day everyone from the city of Sydney. Okay, now the sun is out today. The weather is good. It's 20 degrees and the sun is kind of good so a reason why i'm wearing a light jacket on the winter season well yeah weather here in sydney changes most of the time but we've been having a rain for the whole week oh more than a week anyway so today is just the best day for me to go out i am going to one of the fancy buffet well it, it's called epicurean i'm sure it's kind of a hype here in sydney and i know it's kind of expensive and costly and when I think about it it's kind of like wow I'm spending so much money just for this food but during the last few years it's really been fully booked right and there's no availabilities at all so it's been some of the kind of a fancy restaurants here especially in the side of Barangaroo area here in the city of Sydney you find very attractive and nice restaurants but anyway this place is called Epicurean, right? So there's been a hype in the town about this kind of buffet. And it said some of my friends would told me, why don't you just check it out? I am curious why this buffet restaurant is the talk of the town. So let's go and check out and find out what's behind there and what's behind the scene. And I'm sure I would give you more of a little bit of introductions later and why, right? So early this year, I booked my first ever expensive buffet restaurant. It took me a long time to finally get the chance to get these reservations because of the popularity and due to the availabilities. This restaurant has been a talk of the town when it opened. And I see a lot of social media influencers talking about it. And I told myself, why not try and see if it's worth the hype? So I started my day with excitement and seriously, what a posh location to treat yourself with an exceptional food and drinks. I'm trying to give myself a bit of time to really think if I would spend hundreds of dollars just to try this overhyped buffet restaurant. Here I am, immersing myself into this expensive restaurant which is located here in Barangaro area. I know it would be the most expensive purchase I've ever had in terms of food and with the amount of the money I could probably spend for food. And with so many things running in my mind and not really knowing what I'm about to expect. I was a bit early and I'm so dressed up smart casually as there is a dress rules and regulations before you enter the restaurant so it needs to be smart casual clothing before you enter you get asked for your reservations any dietary requirements and of course you get ushered to your table and there are food stations to choose from and with the selections from Indian Chinese Italian dishes ready to be served However, the drinks are not included, so you have to pay extra dollars. I was a bit surprised when the drinks were not included. The Epicurean Buffet Sydney is a restaurant that offers 
a variety of different cuisines and dishes from all over the world. The food is prepared fresh and changes every day. It is also one of the most expensive restaurants in Sydney with a weekday lunch or dinner buffet costing a massive dollars per person. So some people think that it is worth it to pay for this restaurant because they can eat as much as they want without worrying about the price or what they are eating. Other people think that it's just a hype because there are other restaurants in Sydney with better quality food for cheaper prices. Some people think that the Epicurean Buffet Sydney is worth it because they can eat as much as they want without worrying about the cost. So they believe that this restaurant has a wider variety of dishes and cuisine than the other restaurants in Sydney, while others say that there are better quality restaurants elsewhere in the city. Some people might find this restaurant to be worth it because they enjoy the food and all the different options that they have available for them. While others might not find this restaurant to be worth it because they do not like how expensive it is or they think that the food is not very good. So I would say that this restaurant would be worth it for people who enjoy eating and can afford the set price and want a wide variety of options and are willing to pay for them. But overall, I rate this as 8 out of 10. The Epicurean Buffet Sydney is a very luxurious restaurant, but it might not be worth it for some people. The price for this buffet starts at a staggering hundreds of dollars per person which can be quite expensive for some people who are not willing to spend that much on a meal. If you're wondering if Epicurean Buffet Sydney is worth it, it is. It is a talk of the town and well worth it. A lot of people in Sydney have been talking about Epicurean Buffet Sydney. They say that the food is excellent and that they have a great variety of dishes to choose from. You can enjoy an unlimited buffet with all your favorite dishes. The buffet offers an extensive range of cuisines including Western, Chinese, Japanese, and Indian cuisine. There are also fresh seafood dishes such as the oysters, prawns, and lobsters on offer as well as delicious desserts such as ice cream, chocolate fountains, and the venue features a live cooking station where chefs prepare fresh food for everyone. looking for Shaolong Bao but they don't have it in there as well I'm just being picky 
what do you think the final verdict of the Epicurean? Do you think it's worth it? Thank you.